The sixth episode of Agatha all along. We open on William Kaplan's bar mitzvah, seemingly your average coming of age celebration, family, friends, that awkward teenage energy. The classic. But there's this looming sense of unease. The Westview anomaly keeps reminding us that something isn't quite right. Exactly, and the sense of foreboding becomes even more pronounced during William's palm reading with Lilia Calderu. Oh yeah. She senses a disturbance in his future, a break in his lifeline then slips him that cryptic sigil. Talk about ominous foreshadowing. It's like she knows something big is about to happen. Oh yeah. And of course she's right. The party is cut short due to an emergency in nearby Westview. The Westview anomaly is our direct link to the events of WandaVision. Specifically, the hex that Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, created around the town. William and his parents get into that car accident on the way home. Right. The timing is chilling. His final breath seems to coincide with the collapse of Wanda's hex. And then, William wakes up, calling for Tommy. What? Not his mom, not his dad, Tommy. Billy's soul ends up inhabiting William's body. Is William now the vessel for Billy Maximo's soul? The episode leans into that mystery by showing us William, or whoever he is now, struggling to adapt to his new reality. Uh. He can suddenly hear his parents' thoughts feels like a stranger in his own home. Even his dog acts like he's a different person. Imagine the emotional whiplash of that experience. Mm -hmm. It's no wonder he throws out that line about feeling like he's living a borrowed life. It's heartbreaking, honestly. And the episode does a great job of visually representing his inner turmoil, even through small details. Remember the posters in his room? Harry Houdini, Alice in Wonderland, The Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. All these stories about escaping reality, hidden identities, and worlds within worlds. It's like his subconscious is screaming at him that something is deeply, profoundly wrong. Those visual cues are brilliant, and they add another layer of depth to this idea of identity and belonging. This isn't just a simple case of amnesia, it's a potential merging of two consciousnesses, each with its own memories and experiences. It's like being trapped in someone else's skin, your own sense of self battling for dominance. And. The episode fast forwards three years. We find William now going by Billy, and he's confiding in his boyfriend Eddie about this feeling of being different, of not being who he used to be. Right. He spent the last three years trying to make sense of that night. Yeah. Of the emptiness he feels inside. Yeah. He even tells Eddie it's like some part of him is missing. Billy carried this weight, this feeling of wrongness with him for years. Right. And it's driven him to uncover the truth. We see him poring over research, stumbling across conspiracy theories online, desperate to find an explanation for what happened in Westview, for what happened to him. This search eventually leads him to Ralph Bonner. Oh, Ralph. He's back. What could he possibly add to this story? I'm intrigued. Remember how Ralph was initially presented as Wanda's brother, Pietro, in WandaVision? Yeah. Well, despite being a pawn in Agatha Harkness' schemes, right. Ralph still possesses knowledge about Wanda, okay. and more importantly, her children, Billy and Tommy. Okay, now it's all clicking. Yeah. So Ralph could hold the answers to Billy's questions about his past, his family, maybe even his powers. But there's this other layer, right? This burning need to find Tommy that seems to take over once Billy accepts who he is. Precisely. It's like a switch flips for Billy. He's no longer just trying to understand his own identity. Huh. He's on a mission to reunite with his brother. A brother he feels an undeniable pull towards. He's not just dealing with a lost childhood a stolen identity. He's grappling with the loss of a fundamental connection. Right. A missing piece of himself. Which explains why he's willing to take such huge risks. Yeah. Like seeking out Agatha Harkness. Oh, yeah. Remember that scene from the first episode? Billy trying to break Agatha out? Yeah. Now we understand the desperation fueling his actions. He needs answers, and he's willing to go to extreme lengths to get them even if it means unleashing a powerful and potentially dangerous witch. And that's what makes Billy such a compelling character. And he's driven by love, uh -huh. by this primal need to find his brother. But he's also walking a tightrope. He's dabbling with forces he doesn't fully understand. And there's always a chance he could be pulled down a dark path, just like his mother. It's interesting, though, how this episode seems to set Billy apart from Wanda. Yeah. At least in terms of motivation. Hmm. Wanda's grief and anger led her to create the hex to rewrite reality itself. Right. But Billy's pain seems to be pushing him towards connection, towards restoring what was lost. He's driven by the same intense love for his family, but he's approaching it from a different angle, seeking to rebuild rather than reshape. 
It makes you wonder if that's the whole point of this story. Right. Is Billy going to break the cycle of trauma and magic that seems to plague his family? Yeah. Or is he destined to repeat his mother's mistakes? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this episode is just the tip of the iceberg. Right. We've got witches, sorcerers, mystical artifacts all converging around this young man who's just trying to find his place in the world. A world that seems determined to pull him in a thousand different directions. Speaking of those other players in this magical game, what about Jennifer Kale and Lilia Calderu? Yeah. We last saw them sinking into the earth alongside Agatha. Did they survive? And if so, what role might they play in Billy's journey moving forward? Their fates are definitely up in the air. We know the MCU loves a good resurrection. Right. So it's entirely possible they're still out there, perhaps trapped in some other dimension or biding their time. Right. Remember, Lilia seemed to have a deeper understanding of Billy's destiny. That sigil she gave him wasn't just a random trinket. Right. That sigil. I keep coming back to that. It seemed to prevent him from revealing his true identity to anyone connected to magic. Mm -hmm. Do you think Lillian was trying to protect him? Maybe shield him from those who might exploit his powers? It's certainly a possibility. Lilia might have foreseen the dangers Billy would face, the forces that would try to manipulate him. And that sigil could have been her way of giving him a fighting chance. Or perhaps she was playing a longer game, guiding him towards a specific destiny, one where his powers would be needed to combat some greater threat. It's like she nudged him onto a specific path. Yeah. But left the choices up to him. Did she see his potential for good? Or was she more concerned about the chaos he might unleash if his powers were to fall into the wrong hands? These are all fascinating questions. It's like Lilia tossed a stone into a pond and we're yeah. still watching the ripples spread outwards. Right. Uncertain of their ultimate impact. And let's not forget about Eddie. He's been surprisingly chill about this whole my boyfriend thinks he's from another life thing, don't you think? Could he be hiding something? Don't underestimate the power of love. Come. But you do raise a valid point. We've only seen Eddie through Billy's eyes. Right. Is he as oblivious as he appears? Or yeah. could there be more to him than meets the eye? Is it possible he knows more about Billy's past than he's letting on? Could he be a player in this magical game we're only beginning to understand? So many questions, so few answers. But that's what makes this so thrilling, right? Right. We're uncovering layers of mystery. Yes. Piecing together clues and trying to anticipate where this story might take us next. It's like we're putting together a puzzle, but the pieces keep changing shape right before our eyes. And that's the beauty of this show. It keeps us guessing, keeps us engaged, and constantly challenges our understanding of what's possible in the MCU. Just when you think you have a handle on things, a new layer is revealed. Right. Deepening the mystery and raising the stakes even higher. It's like we stumbled down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and landed smack dab in the middle of a magical mystery tour. Oh, yeah. But even with all these unanswered questions swirling around, right. this episode leaves us with one crystal clear takeaway. Billy is determined to find his brother, Tommy. Absolutely. That desire for connection, for family, becomes his driving force. He's no longer just trying to understand his own past. Right. He's fighting to reclaim a part of himself that was lost in the chaos of Westview. 